My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letters Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 81 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at angle of elevation and depression. This is a very simple concept, topic in mathematics. What you need is knowledge of triangle, right angled triangle and trig ratio, plus a little touch of common sense. With these three skills, you are good to go. Now look at something. If I am standing here, right, and I'm, my head is like this, this is my normal view. So let's call it the horizontal. That is your normal view, like this. It is the horizontal. I may decide to look up. I may decide to look down. If from this horizontal, I decide to look up, it means my angle has increased. That means I have something like this. So the angle between my eye level and the horizontal, like when I look up, the angle between my eye level and the horizontal, this angle is called angle of elevation. That is all. Now, under angle of elevation, you may be asked the distance between the observer and the object, or the hypotenuse, like the distance from the base and the top of the object. Let's say what I am viewing is a tree. This is a tree. This is the uh, root of the tree. So from my eye level, let's say I'm seeing the root or side of the tree. Then this is the angle of elevation I make. If I say find the height of the tree, the height is basically this opposite. The distance between the observer and the tree is adjacent, opposite adjacent. The distance between the normal eye level to the top of what is being viewed is the hypotenuse. That is it. Let's go back again. If this is my normal eye level or the horizontal, if I decide to look down at something, let's say I'm standing on top of a building and I'm looking at the normal eye view and I see something under the building and I say, okay, let me look down. So as I look down, the angle my eye makes with the horizontal while looking down, this is angle of depression, theta d. And similarly, you have to cross here. This is your opposite, this is your hypotenuse, this is your adjacent. So angle of elevation and depression, they basically require the same skill and they are basically the same thing. Now let's see questions to buttress my point. A student sitting on a tower 68 meters high. Whether you know a tower or whatever, we know that a student is sitting on something. This is the student. And the thing is 68 meters high. Observes his principal scar. Wow. If he's on top of a tower, the principal scar will definitely be small, like this. Right? So he observed the principal scar at an angle of depression 20 degrees. This is the student. His normal eye view will be here, normal eye level. But looking down to the principal scar obviously means the angle has dropped like this. So this angle is the angle of depression because he's looking down. And they said it is 20 degrees. You can choose to complete this triangle in two ways. You can choose to just complete here like this. And this height, 68 meters, is the same thing as here, 68 meters. Or 
you choose to complete it like this. If you complete it like this, it is the same thing. Here is 68 meters, then here is the distance from the observer to the car. We are asked for what? How far is the car from the bottom of the tower to the nearest meter? This is the bottom of the tower and this is the car. So you need the distance from here to here. And know that the distance from here to here is the same thing as the distance from here to here. You can call here S or call here S. Any triangle you choose to use, you get the answer. The distance is adjacent. Let's use this guy. The distance is adjacent. The 68 meters is opposite and this is the angle. Which of the three ratio relates opposite and adjacent? That should be tan theta, tua. So, tan 20 degrees is equals, this is the right angle. So the part facing the right angle is the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent, this is the opposite. 68 over S. S is equals 68 over tan 20 degrees. And 68 over tan 20 degrees is 187. This is 187. That is your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, with this, we've introduced angle of elevation and depression. I hope you understand one or two things. Don't worry, in the next episode, we shall be solving many questions on the angle of elevation and depression. And you see that it is a very, very, very simple topic in mathematics. So, if you love what you are seeing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next episode.